If you keep getting crashes in Fortnite Chapter 7, you are not alone, as a lot of players are running into the same problem right now. Epic Games have already confirmed that they are working on a fix, but there are some additional things you guys can do on your side that will actually help, and I'm going to walk you through all of them step by step today, so you can play the game without it just closing down mid-fight. Before we do get into the fixes though, there is an important one from Epic you need to see, and it comes from the Fortnite status account. They literally just confirmed that there is a crashing issue for players who use the DirectX 11 as their rendering mode. They stated that as a temporary workaround, you need to switch over to DirectX 12. May that be just the normal rendering mode or the performance one. I definitely recommend the performance one as you'll get way more FPS with the lower graphics. They do state this is just temporary until they release a proper fix. By the way, if you are on DirectX 11 and you're trying to move over to DirectX 12 but it's not applying, this issue is usually caused by your game user settings file which is set to read only in the properties. In order to fix this it's really easy, just follow the steps on screen to locate the file and then if you go into its properties make sure that that read only box is unticked. After that if you go into Fortnite and then change the rendering mode, this time it should actually stick. If you were already using DirectX 12 though and and you were still getting crashes, then the next fixes are for you. The first proper fix we have is to reset Fortnite's config folder, so chapter 7 can generate clean files. Easiest way is to go onto your desktop, press the Windows key plus R, and inside that run box, type in percentage sign local update at percentage sign and hit enter. You then want to find the Fortnite game folder and right click on it to delete it. What this folder contains is basically all of your local cache and configs from all the previous seasons and the thing about this is when that old data mixes with the new chapter 7 data it can potentially cause some issues like fps stuttering slower shade of cache compiling and even game crashes by deleting this file what we're going to do is force fortnite to build a completely fresh one when we next launch the game up by the way when you do next open fortnite you might see a message like this appear on screen you also might have noticed that it does actually reset your video video settings, just go through all of those and reapply them to what they used to be. As for the other settings such as your sensitivities, your keybinds and even your game settings, all of those should still be the same as they're stored on the cloud. Now that we've got a fresh config though, the next step is to actually make sure that none of the in-game files are corrupted. The way to check for this is to open up the Epic Games Launcher, go to your library, find the Fortnite game, click on those three dots, choose manage and and then click on the verify button at the top. What this will do is it'll scan all of the Fortnite files on your drive and it'll compare them to the latest version on the servers. And basically, if any of those files do not match up because they may be corrupted, missing, or whatever else, verifying the files will re-download all of them so they're all correct. It honestly doesn't take that long at all and it's something I recommend doing after every new chapter just to make sure all the in-game files are all good to go and fully updated. After that though, if you are still getting game crashes, you can try fixing the shade cache on your PC. With Fortnite 7 adding a brand new map with a bunch of new visuals, this means your graphics card has had to build up quite a lot of new shaders, and it does it all inside of this file right here. However, while this process does happen, when you do explore those like new areas of the map that are all greyed out, those files can become corrupted. And when that happens, if you encounter something in-game that hasn't been fully cached, that will normally cause an FPS stutter, but it can sometimes cause a game crash. So if you want to reset that, the easiest way to do this is to go over to your Windows Start menu, search up Disk Cleanup, select your main drive, then find the DX Shader Cache in the list and tick it. You can then uncheck everything else if you don't want to clear the other stuff. But after that, if you then clean up the files and restart your PC, when you launch Fortnite again, the first couple of games might might be a bit more stuttery than normal with the new shaders being built, but after that it's very possible that your game will feel way smoother than before, and hopefully more stable without any more crashes. Now that Fortnite's own files are sorted, the next thing we need to look at is the graphics drivers. If you're using an out of date driver or a broken driver, they could be one of the main reasons for the DXGI errors, or even those GPU hung errors you see. In order to make sure you've got the most up to date driver, and 
hopefully more stable driver, it's important you check for the recent one on either the NVIDIA website, where you can input your own GPU to find out the most recent one for that, or better yet, you should just download the NVIDIA app and just have a look in the top right corner on there. When installing that driver though, this is optional by the way, but I always recommend that you choose the custom or the advanced option and then click that clean install button, as this is a great way to wipe all the old driver settings and replace them all with fresh ones. Oh, and if you have had a lot of different drivers on your system over time, you can take it one step further and use the display driver uninstaller to remove the old drivers completely, then install the new one after that. You can then restart your PC and just test a few games out to see if the crashes have stopped. If you are unfortunately still crashing after all of that, this is where we can take a look at the overall system stability. If in the past you have ever used anything like MSI Afterburner or even another tool to overclock or underclock your GPU, what I highly recommend you doing if you are still crashing is just resetting all your settings back to stock. Doing this is just to ensure that the overclocks or undervolts aren't the cause of the crashes. From there you can also enter your PC's BIOS and basically check the same thing inside of there. If you've done any sort of system tweaking like CPU overclocks, you may just want to revert back to the default or the auto settings. Just have a look around in here and make sure nothing has been changed from the default. If it has, you can just simply revert it back just to test to see if that's the culprit. I also advise that you head over to your RAM and check the same sort of thing in there. I know a lot of people do the XMP profile inside of here and that is normally safe as all we're doing is getting our advertised RAM speeds. However, if you have pushed your RAM a little bit too far, there is a good chance that that could be part of the problem. So you may want to try out going back to your default memory speed and see if things calm down from there. Just literally have a few matches with everything stock on your PC and hopefully that stops all the crashing issues. If it does, then you know that the overclock that you were doing was unstable. But yeah, if you've done all of that and Fortnite is still somehow crashing every game, the last thing I want you to try is to go into your Epic Games launcher and just simply uninstall the game. I know this might seem obvious, but a lot of people do forget about this and sometimes all you need is a clean reinstall. I will say that when you do install it again, make sure that it is on an SSD drive if you do have one, as this will not only make your game run better, but it'll also boot up a lot quicker. And by the way, if you do want to download the game faster, you need to check out this video on screen. If not that one, you can check out any of my other videos as well.